again. Well, I'm back at it again. I just here at Reflection Lake, just below Mount Rainier on the south side. I come back up the mountain and finish the painting here. So it's another beautiful day here on the mountain. Nice sunset coming along. So I'm here at about the same time I was the night before. So I'll carry on with the painting now as the, the light is shifting down. Sunset's coming along. Here's where I left it the other night with those warm shadows on the mountain. I'll work on the foreground and the middle ground now and get the lake in and then try to finish up at about the same time as I stopped the other night. And I'm happy you're here with me. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I've mixed up several greens now for the middle ground trees and some of the dark values for the lake. So I'll take a large brush and start with those. You can see the sun is shining on me and occasionally I'm reflecting light onto the panel. That's why it's important to wear a darker colored shirt. If you wear a light colored or a brightly colored shirt, you can reflect a bright color or a lot of light onto your panel which will make it harder to judge values. I'm letting this large synthetic brush, it's an older Windsor Newton Filbert with kind of a ragged end. I'm letting it do most of the work with those trees. I'm just kind of dragging the color off the brush onto the panel and not fussing too much with trying to paint any specific tree, just general patches of color. When I'm painting onto a dry painting like I'm doing here on the middle ground, I'll start with a dark, transparent value first. I have a little bit of sap green, a little bit of burnt umber, diluted with Gamsol and Liquin. I'll put that down first and then I'll paint into it with a lighter value. I get just a little bit of lighter value paint on the edge of my knife. It's a smaller triangle shaped Italian knife and draw in the trunk of the tree. It's not very bright. It's just a maybe a step lighter value in a nice grayed down blue red what I'm seeing in the environment. I'll take a slightly smaller synthetic flat and just lightly touch the panel with a lighter value yellow-green. 
It looks bright in this image, but it's really only about a step lighter value than the paint I've already placed on the panel. When I paint a scene like this where the light is changing rapidly, the light is fleeting like a sunrise or a sunset, I'll try to go in with a plan. Here I know that the light on the foreground and the middle ground is going to fade first and then it's going to end up being dark and cool and the light on the mountain is going to be warm. I want to capture that dramatic light on the foreground and the middle ground as well. I've mixed the electric blue and deep green color of the lake based on memory, not really based on what I'm seeing now that the light has faded. This is fun and good exercise, painting from memory. But as you'll see in the end of this video, it kind of results in a disharmony in the painting because the light on the mountain doesn't match the light in the foreground. I've been rereading parts of John Carlson's excellent book, Carlson's Guide to Landscape Painting. In it, he gives a lot of great advice. One thing he says about composition is, make sure you paint what draws you to the scene. Make sure you paint what you love about the scene. In this painting, I'm drawn to three things. I love the electric blue and deep green of the lake. I really love the deep shadows and the highlights on that middle ground forest and I'm really enchanted by the fading light on the mountain. Unfortunately here on site I try to capture all three so I'll need to try to focus on one main point of interest, tell one story when I get back to the studio. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. 
Hit the bell as well so you get notified when I upload a new video. Well, I got finished. Here's the painting. Got finished as far as I'm going to get here. I'm losing the light now. The light's changing so much. There's no light on the foreground or the trees at all and just a hint of light on the mountain itself. I'll take it back to the studio and adjust it a bit. I think there's a disharmony right now. There's this really subtle light on the mountain but then I have some vibrant light on the foreground that's not quite working and the blue of the water is not quite working so I need to go back and adjust that just a little bit in the studio somehow before I like it I think but I'll take a look at it again um, it's getting cold I'm a little tired so uh, maybe I'll like it better when I take a look at it again anyway thanks so much for joining me it was a really nice evening here on Reflection Lake near Mount Rainier Please keep your eye out for my next video. I'll show you how I decide on the main point of interest in the painting and finish the painting. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the trail.